Welcome back, one and all, to the Weekender's Edge. I am your host, Nick Simonson, outdoors writer with my materials online at NewsDakota.com and DakotaEdge.com. Great to be with you here for the second weekend of April. So let's take the next three days, wrap them all up into three minutes so you can get the most out of your ever-evolving opportunities out there in the outdoors. With those winds that we have seen throughout Wednesday and Thursday, gusts will continue into Friday, April 8th. That continued breezy conditions will persist as gusts around 20 to 30 miles an hour will still be coming out of the north, making things a bit blustery for your fishing opportunities. The low will be in the upper 20s as you get out of bed with highs, getting into the low 40s by midday under those mostly clear skies for Friday. Turning to Saturday the 9th, this is our pick of the weekend. That first quarter moon will be upon us, giving you a little bit of bump in the bite, and you will have some good opportunities to get out there as those winds shift to the south throughout the day. But those calm conditions in the morning will let you get out there on that newly opened water or on the river finding those fish that you are after but by midday winds will pick up out of the south turning from the south 20 to 30 miles an hour giving you that chop and that challenge that you might find on saturday lows will be in the middle 20s when you wake up highs getting up to near 50 so you will have a good chance to enjoy some time outdoors as those skies become partly cloudy by the afternoon turning to sunday the 10th that heavy cloud cover will build in there will be a chance of light rain or drizzle throughout the day the low will be right around freezing as you wake up. Highs only getting into the middle 40s. You'll have that calm period again in the morning to get out there on the water and that wind will shift to the east by midday with those winds roaring up to about 15 to 30 miles an hour. So all in all you will find some opportunities throughout this three-day stretch to get out there on the water to explore those opportunities and that wind will do its best to tear up what remains of the ice floating around on our sloughs, our lakes, and different places scattered throughout the landscape. So take what you can while you can in this great three-day stretch get yourself set up for a great spring of fishing and the one thing I want to point out to you this weekend is that water is very cold whether you're on the Cheyenne River or the James River or some of these lakes that will be opening up in the next week or two you want to be very cautious you want to be very careful and that starts with wearing your life jacket it is the utmost importance at this time of year to have a PFD on whether it's the inflatable kind that deploys when you hit the water or it's a standard life vest obviously you want to have those kids in their life jackets that is a requirement of the law but for you as well if you're out they're fishing in these extremely chilly waters if you hit that water without a life jacket you automatically exhale that is a function of your body and that life jacket is designed to keep you afloat particularly in these cold waters so please keep that in mind have that life jacket with you it's required by law but more importantly have it on your body especially in spring when the waters can be chilly and very very dangerous if you go overboard so keep that in mind be safe out there and have a ton of fun with your fishing opportunities for the weekender's edge i'm nick simonson Good fishing to ya.